Hello, welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. Today's lesson is in response to a viewer who is asking for my help to build an accounts receivable aging worksheet. Let's see the letter. Dear Danny, first I'd like to say that your tutorials are great. I've watched them all I believe and I have learned quite a bit about Excel. Thank you. I need your help in building an accounts receivable aging report. I want to be able to see the amounts that are past due for 30, 60, 90, and over 120 days. I would like to see the total amount for each of these categories. I've tried several formulas and looked for help in several locations with no success. Can you help me with this project? Absolutely. Here I have a simple invoice register. The key cells to point out is over here in B3, we're using the today function to always return the current date, the date that is in our system clock. And we use the if function over here to evaluate a formula. With an if function, we evaluate a logical test. In this case, what we're looking for in our logical test is if the due date for the invoice is less than, in other words, earlier than the cell that refers to the current date. Then the value of true as a result of the logical test, I put in there, return this text string, pass due. The value of false put in there this text string current. Notice that we include text strings inside double quotation marks. All right, now what we want to be able to do for our viewer is go beyond just past due, but it is 1 to 30 days past due, 31 to 60. All right, now let's come over here and show you how to do that. What we've done now is we've turned the if statement, the logical value. In this case, I've said if the result of this calculation, today's date minus the due date for the invoice. So if that is greater than 30, the value if true is I want you to do that calculation and I want you to put the number of days in there. If the value is false, in other words, it's not past due, then I want to have a blank in the cell. I indicate a blank just as I would with any other text, double quotation mark, space, double quotation mark. All right, now let's take that information and turn it into an AR aging report. So I copied over the last worksheet with the number of days past due. We're going to be doing a formula that is going to use the if and the and functions. We're going to be looking through and saying if a condition is true, we're going to be using and. The condition will be if in the logical test the and condition both of these logicals must be met for it to return true e6 is if the number of days that is past due meets both of these conditions it's greater than or equal to 1 and it is less than or equal to 30 then what I want you to put in here is the amount in that column. So down here we were able to get this amount into the 31 to 60 day past due column by using if and and. Both conditions were met. E8 over here falls within this range. It is greater than or equal to 31 and it is less than or equal to 60. All right, let's put this into practice over here. We use the if and the and function. So what we will do is say equals, well, actually, let's make it easier for here. We can copy over the formula that we have here and make a couple of quick changes. So here, what we want to do is edit this to be if the amount, the number of days that are past due, if it is greater than or equal to 61, and it is less than or equal to 90, then what I want you to return is the amount. Control enter, and now let's copy this down. So there we have this amount that got picked up over here. Now for the 90 days, we don't need the and condition. It's a simple if condition. Equals if formula autocomplete, function autocomplete, I like to use control A. So our logical test will be if over here, if the number of days is greater than 90, value if true, then I want you to return the amount over here, which is D6, and the value if false, put nothing in there, which is double quotation mark space, double quotation mark.
click OK, and there you go. Now I can copy this down. And now we have our totals for our aging report. The total amount past due 31 to 60 days, 61 to 90, and over 90. Finally, here's a little nicety. I'm going to introduce you very quickly to the weekday function. The weekday function, when we put a weekday function equals weekday, what we have is going to be looking for a serial number. Every date is a serial number. So this is a serial number that is just formatted as a date, then return the type. Well, there are several ways that we can say the week begins on Sunday. That's the default. So if it is a Sunday, the result will be 1, Monday, Tuesday, and so on and so forth for Saturday. So over here, what we can do is we can use the weekday function and say that if the due date for the invoice is on a weekend, in other words, the result is 7, which is Saturday, then we want to give an additional two days for the due date. If the return of the weekday function falls into a Sunday, then we want to add one additional day. All right, so the functions that we used in this lesson, the if function, which requires a logical test, and then if the value is true from the logical result, return this value, value of false, if it doesn't pass. The weekday function, which I just introduced you to, it's going to be looking for a cell that contains a date. A date is a serial number. And then optionally, what day do you want it to begin? So it's going to return a value from 1 to 7. The AND function requires that all of our logical values must a return true to get the result. So there you've learned how to create an aging receivable report in Excel. I'll see you in the next lesson.